Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Friday Night Presence Night. We are so glad you are with us. Tonight, we will be restreaming a part of our Revival 25 conference with some of our own Kesha Fire worship team. It is an incredible set, so we pray that you encounter God tonight. Have an amazing night. Be blessed. Well, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Majestic, the King of Glory. We honor you tonight. And we welcome the Holy Spirit into this room. Beautiful, glorious, wonderful Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Son and the Spirit of the Father. You are so welcome here. Psalm 97. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles be glad. Let the congregation at Revival 25 praise God with all their might tonight. Clouds and darkness surround Him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of His throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies round about. His lightnings light the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the Lord, the, the, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth, the heavens declare his righteousness and all the peoples see his glory. you Jesus we worship you how majestic is your name we love you it's our joy tonight would you fill us with the anointing to worship you with every fiber of our beings in Jesus mighty name
welcome in this place. We speak it out. You are welcome in this place. You're welcome in this place. You're welcome in this place. You are welcome. You are welcome in this place. You're welcome in this place. You're welcome in this place.
you're working you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working even when i don't see it you're working and even when i don't feel it you're working you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working even when i don't see it you're working
all my affection and all my devotion. Let it pour out over you. It's over you. Baby, you 
great Messiah, the conqueror, the victorious one. Wow, no shadow of turning with thee. Beautiful Savior, beautiful Savior. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Every knee bows to the name of Jesus. Every sickness bows to the name of Jesus. Every bit of demonic oppression dri is driven out by the name of Jesus. Just begin to fix your eyes on His beautiful gaze. Those eyes of fiery love. Just begin to see Him in His rightful place. Our beautiful Savior, the conquering King, who overcame death and sin. And I just see, I just see us giving Him all those things that have, have been oppressing us, all the things holding us back, all the lies, all the demonic things that have been attacking us in our minds. Right now, just begin to lift them up to the name of Jesus. All those things that are holding us back, that are entangling us because the name of Jesus breaks every chain tonight in this room. And the name of Jesus sets everyone free that's watching online. The name of Jesus is powerful for every impossible situation. And there's a, there's a gift of faith being released into your situations right now. Just begin to receive it by faith. That faith gift that breaks every chain of the enemy over your life. It's time to move some mountains tonight. I want you to look at the face of every mountain that's in your life. Some of you have been struggling with addictions. Some of you have been struggling with financial problems. Some of you have been struggling with sickness. Some of you have been struggling to break out of a spirit of poverty. Some of you have been struggling to really sense and feel the Lord's presence. Some of you have been struggling with relational issues. Some of you have been wrestling with demonic oppression. Whatever it is, whatever mountain it is, look at it right now. Command it in the mighty name of Jesus to be removed from before your face right now. Slay those giants right now. Speak to those mountains. Be removed from before me in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the majestic, mighty name of Jesus. In the awesome, glorious, holy name of Jesus, we command every mountain to be leveled and every valley to rise up before us in Jesus' name. Jesus, let's give the Lord a hand. Big no, clap offering. We worship you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Wow. Well, turn to your friend and tell them you're a mountain mover. And you can start to drift your way back to your seats now, please. Like everybody up here at the front to make their way back to the seats, please. Everybody, just make your way back to your seats. Thank you so much, worship team. That was extraordinary. Yes. You led us into extraordinary realms of glory tonight. Yes, you did. Shall we come? Not yet. Just let them make their way. That's it. Keep drifting your way back to your seats, please, everybody.
That's it, keep drifting your way back to your seats, please. And maybe if some of the team can help them move their way back to their seats, that would be really helpful. We want to make sure this whole area here is clear so that if there's anything, any ministry the Lord wants to do, we're free and able to do that. Meanwhile, we want to welcome all of you that are watching online. You're so very warmly welcome. This is an incredible uh, conference that we've been having. This is an incredible uh, Kate, how would you describe this? Has just been extraordinary, hasn't it? Immersion in the glory. A glory his presence. immersion and his presence. It's just been absolutely incredible, and uh, we're glad you're watching at home. But my goodness me, I know we were all sold out, and there's no room for anybody anyway. But to be here has been extraordinary, hasn't it, everybody? It literally has been extraordinary. Yeah, it's been just, amazing. People are so full of joy and yeah. excited in yeah. the presence. But listen, if you're all watching online and, and God touches you in any of the sessions, please send us an email. Just let us yeah. know what God's been doing in your own living room or your own home. In fact, get ready to receive the anointing right now. <laughs> there you go. Welcome back whenever you come back. <laughs> All right, let's have Anderson and his son up onto the platform. Anderson uh, is an amazing church planter and pastor with Catch the Fire. He's planted Catch the Fire Novo Hamburgo. Let's Hello. come over this way, you guys. And uh, he's brought his son with him. Ah, it's good to see you. And uh, Anderson um, and his wife planted Catch the Fire, Nova Hamburgo, how many years ago now? It's gonna be six years in April. Six years in April. Anderson, I just want you to tell us what's been happening. And, uh, and you know what, I, I also, how many of you in this room one day would like to plant a church or be involved in some kind of capacity and role in planting a church? Okay, because at the, at the end, we're gonna ask Anderson to just release that over you. But <laughs> Anderson, come on, tell us. In a few moments, what has God, what is God doing? What has God done? What is God doing? And what is he going to do Amen. in Brazil? Oh boy, we are so excited, really, in Brazil, the things going on there. But the first time I came here in 97, uh, I had no idea what's going on here. The people invited me to come here for a conference and they told me that it's gonna be like the most famous speakers preaching. And then when I arrived and I looked at the schedule, I didn't know one. <laughs> I just said, someone lied to me. And I just looking around and telling all this going on and revival and people rolling and falling. And I'm a young Baptist pastor at that time. And to be honest with you, I like to say, you know what? If that happened in my church, I'm going to say, get out in Jesus' name. You know? But one night, a Friday night, I catch the fire 97, John asked for some people to stand up. And I stood up over there. And he just prayed from the platform. And the Holy Spirit just hit me. And I fall in the chairs in front of me and thank God the couple was stood up that time you know so I fall down there and that experience really changed my life when I came back to our church and normal regular service I close my eyes in the end you know the, the altar call and I start to pray for people and when I open my eyes like I usually do all the people were on the floor I said what's going on here you know and that experience really changed my life forever and I remember there's a sign over that wall saying walk in God's love and give it away and that time I didn't get it because to me it's supposed to be walk in God's power and give it away that's what I saw here power of God but after a while walking with these people here I understood to me was the most amazing message which is the Father's love that really changed me, my church. And six years ago, we decided let's move to another town with School of Ministry students and plant a church with these values. And I cannot say to give the, the, the credit or the success, I cannot call that, but 
what you're facing in our church now after this almost six years together about like 300 people is they are there because of these values they are there because they just love what God is doing to understand that they're not servants anymore and they're sons and daughter of this amazing Papa and this is really changing changing our church changing our community and we have now talking about Brazil a great a great expectations for these years in 2019 so keep praying for us five years ago and this from this platform Stacy Campbell prophesied on the 20th anniversary that God are, gonna, God are gonna come in Brazil and vanish all the corruption and the issues that we have there. Five years later, we have an uh, ex-president in jail and a bunch of other politicals in jail, things that we could not, never, ever imagine in our life in Brazil. And now we change the party in the government. We kind of have our Brazilian Trump version in our government. And we are really, really excited about that. In human rights uh, office, now the over, whole Brazil who leads about abortion and gender agenda and all that, we have now a full of born again, full of spirit pastor running that in Brazil. So thank God, God is moving in Brazil. We're so excited about that. Oh, hallelujah, that's so amazing. And, and who is this handsome young man right here with you? <laughs> Sorry about that, this is my son. And he's 17, almost 18. He's Timothy, and he born inside of the revival, and now he's here to do the School of Ministry. So you're really, really excited about that. Come on, I didn't know that. Oh, Anderson, that's fantastic. Wow. From oh! generation to generation. So Timothy, do you speak any English? A little? Okay. Are you excited to be here? Yeah, too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, wonderful. Well, okay, everybody, I'd like you to stand up. We're going to release. No, we're going to ask God to, um, these two are standing here, symbolic of Brazil, but we're going to ask God that Brazil would explode with his glory. Yes. And that Brazil would literally be a, na a nationwide epicenter of God's presence, yes. a tabernacle of his dwelling. Stretch out your hands. Let's pray for these guys. Don't look down, Anderson. Oh, you, you, wait, wait, wait. Kate's just reminding me. You were going to pray for all of the church planters. Come on, let's do that first. You're going to be gone. We want to. So, uh, we, so want we need, we, sorry about that. Thank you, darling. We That's want to so see right. transformation yes, in do. many other cities and nations. Exactly. Okay. So, so first, yeah. you release an impartation over. I want everybody that that would like an impartation to be involved in either being the primary church planter or be involved in oh. a team of church planters to be the only ones raising their hands right now. The rest of us stand up, please. But the rest, the, you hold your hands up and get ready because there is an impartation from yes. church for church planting coming from one of the most anointed church planters. Yes, God, I ask, God, I ask you in Jesus' name. God, I believe in a church. You created a church. You said you're going to build your church. That's your idea. And we just follow you, God, on that, planting churches and see all over the world church being planted. So I bless these heroes. I bless these men and women of God planting their churches. God, release your anointing. Give them wisdom. Give them knowledge. Give them strategies and give them these values to change lives and release over them whoa release over them your spirit god we need to depend on you like we're talking heidi was talking this this afternoon and this morning we need to depend on you follow you and give us our ears to hear you to be sensitive to your spirit and follow you and this amazing challenge to see your kingdom come and yeah. your will being done yeah. in this earth in jesus name so i blessed every single church planters here in Jesus yeah. name. Thank you Lord. Amen. In Jesus name. All right, stretch you. out your hands to these two.
Oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we together, 3,000 of us, Father, we're asking you for a gigantic explosion of glory in Brazil, your nation of Brazil. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, that Brazil would be a nation of your habitation and glory in Jesus' name. Fire. In Jesus' name, let your presence yes. abide, abide with the Brazilian people, God, yes, and Lord. raise up a multitude Church. army of missionaries all over the world yes, from Brazil. Yes, in Lord. Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Jesus and all name. of God's people said, Amen. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like and the subscribe button below, and we would love to hear from you. So let us know in the comments how this video impacted you.